Hello, I'm Herb Jackson Jr. and I'm here to talk to you about a wonderful project that I'm involved in called The Last Butterflies. Why did I join this film? Through the powers of networking, attraction, whatever you want to call it, the opportunity was presented to me. I was introduced to Whitney, spoke with Whitney, she presented the screenplay to me and I actually was traveling at the moment at the airport um, download it on my iPad had a few minutes and as I'm reading through it I was just immediately drawn to the story um, Whitney does a wonderful job creating the the environment the world the space that this film is set in and I was drawn to it instantly and once I was in that world reading the characters and seeing how everything was going I was like I was pretty much sold uh, probably I don't know five six pages in it, it's it's awesome and it deals with what potentially we could be dealing with in the future I think for the first time in our lives the possibility of our world changing dramatically doesn't seem so far-fetched so reading the script and the story and seeing how that all worked drew me drew me right on in in my mind independent filmmaking I think it's extremely important, you know, these days with social media, you know, whether you get information from TikTok or YouTube or any of the streaming services or even shorts TV for that matter. Now I think the world is open for a lot of creatives to get their stories out. And I think that's very important for us to get all sorts of different perspectives, hear from different communities stuff like that so to me independent filmmaking i'm extremely excited to be a part of this the next question is what are my thoughts on the impact of film and the media in our communities in the world and piggybacking on my last answer i will say yes we get to look into uh, worlds and communities that weren't on say mainstream television in the past or even in movies so we're being able to hear stories about struggle and perseverance and discrimination and people who are overcoming that or even corporate greed. And there's all sorts of things out there that I think with through independent filmmaking, we're able to view that. And the, with the way technology is, we don't need the huge studio to produce something like this. 